maybe. Um, so basically, I would like to ask um, our guests if they have any further uh, consideration, any further question they would like to ask each other, if there is anything that they would add regarding what has been done, said by the others um, during this, uh, this very nice conversation. Um, Yeah, because we're in a youth action camp, you know, when I look at the world, I realize that the whole world, including Europe, is being colonized by what we call the 1%. And it's not the 1%, it's much smaller, actually. It's a number of, you know, I wrote a book called Oneness Versus 1%. And I think, we, you know, we are going to see water wars, we are going to see energy wars, we'll see food wars, because our artificial scarcity will be created. By preventing us from participating in the co-creation and co-production with nature. You put it very well, you know. First we were told you can only be workers, earn a living, forget your land, forget your seeds, forget your knowledge. Now we are being told, but we don't need workers because artificial intelligence and robots will do it for us. We want, the, the billionaires want a future without people. And that is ap as applicable for your future as the future of the South. So I believe the solidarity of today is to A, realize we are one, we are common earth citizens. We might be white and brown, we might be women and men, you know, at the end of the day, we are off the earth. And that is what gives us life. And if we turn to life, then we have to defend living systems and the commons. Manlio just talked about how the water crisis, which has been created, you know, women in my country fought and shut down Coca-Cola because it was stealing their water. They were having to walk 10 miles. They just sat and said, you cannot take the water. They asked me to come and celebrate Earth Day with them. And I said, why would women in a remote village be fighting Coca-Cola? I noticed there's a sign in your camp, boycott Coca-Cola. Nestle and Coca-Cola and Pepsi are the biggest water pirates, as is industrial agriculture, which is using 80% of the water of this planet. Your rivers, Po, is not drying up only because of one season's heat wave. It's drying up because of excessive extraction. So we need to reclaim the commons. The commons of our knowledge, the commons of our water, the commons of our land. When I talk to you about occup occupy the land, I talk about occupying it with love and with care to say we will not let the war against the earth continue, exactly as you were saying. The commons of the seed, the commons of water, the commons of basic energy that's necessary both the energy within us, you know, we have a beautiful word for energy in India. It's Shakti, the power to act. You're here at your camp to create your power to act, to unleash your Shakti. Power doesn't come from outside. It comes from within. It comes within our minds, within our hearts, and it comes from organizing together. That to me is solidarity the power to be together, to generate the strength that allows a group of women to shut down Coca-Cola. Mexico, fighting GMO and, and, and glyphosate. Mexican peasants had, have led the fight for corn. I have been with them again and, and again. And at the end of the day, climate action is about saying we are the earth. We are the soil, we are the water, we are the trees, we are the oceans, we are the waters, and we will take care of them. That determination and, and will that comes from that oneness, the deep oneness, is our last bet because we are facing a future which is saying 99% are disposable people. And we have to stand there and say, we will not go extinct. We are not disposable. 
We are at the heart of the solution. And we will play their role no matter what resistance we have to give because that resistance is vital for the future of our lives and the life of the earth. you feel like adding something please just that would be very welcome I guess I'm just going to really second that um, we need to determine what are the obstacles before us and we need to learn from all the resistances of the past and present. And we need to aim something outside of not only the nation state, but the state as a whole. Because the state is organized in such a way that they have monopoly of what knowledge we should have, what education we should get, what news we should read, what kind of a lover we should have. It changes from time to time. They portray it on us. And they seize what we produce in the form of taxes, you know, and all of this. So therefore, how do we then take back, reclaim the fabric of the society that can take us to this free life and this harmony with our environment. And I will also call on, and I know that if you're here, you're organized, but you have to organize beyond. And we have to organize this education, this media, this literature from this standing point because they have all these equipment, weapons, and I don't mean weapons in terms of arms only, that are able to reproduce that. You know, we've been struggling for 50 years as the Kurds in the modern times, but we are seeing that a young person who is growing today can become more male dominant, than let's say 20 years ago, despite the struggles. So therefore, how do we organize in all these dimensions, all in parallel, and then connect it all? Because none of us can do this alone. We've come to a point that truly, it requires elaborate and resilient organization and going to the people. Do not just organize among people alike. <laughs> you know, we need to go into every house. <laughs> so this is the only way to solidarity. Organize. You organize for yourself in your society, in your locality, if you want to be in solidarity with Rojava. If you want to be in solidarity for people in India or elsewhere, or in Mozambique or in South Africa. Oh, and join us to demand freedom for Abdullah Hajala. Thank you. Um, yes, that, as you said. Um, so I, I just want to finish off by saying that, that I'm so excited to be here because there's so many people that I've been talking to and thought, oh my God, you're working on something so similar to me, or oh my gosh, you're working on the same company. 
working on the same struggle, yes, let's stay in touch. Let's actually work to strengthen each other's struggle. And I think, please take advantage of that. And thank you to the organizers, this is amazing. Um, but I also just want to say solidarity. This term has been used so much, solidarity with the global south, right? We need to go beyond solidarity to active resistance, okay? With a European passport, I know I've talked about this before, comes the privilege of disrupting, occupying, getting arrested, do things that the people who are actually being affected cannot do. Be And as Batman's mentor said, with great power comes great responsibility. And I don't want to end on that. I would rather end with solidarity is active resistance. Sí, eh, tenemos un sueño que pues quiero compartir con todas y todos, ¿no? Creo que queda claro cuál es el problema y creo que queda claro el lugar en el que estamos, ¿no? El sueño es que un el mismo día, a la misma hora, todos po podernos movilizar contra la muerte y por la vida, podernos organizar desde nuestras geografías en acciones dislocadas que permitan visibilizar que somos muchos quienes estamos en contra de este sistema y que no solo es eso, sino que sí estamos pensando y soñando con construir otros mundos donde quepan muchos mundos. So, uh, the problem is clear and we have a dream that one day we can uh, organize uh, from different parts of the world at the same time, uh, actions in different ways to uh, show our struggle in common. So I just want to really thank all our guests for tonight for having been here for having shared with us their thoughts, their ideas, their opinion, their knowledge, basically, because knowledge is the basis on which we can actually transform this world. So that has been so important and so interesting. So really, really, really thank you very much for being here, for having been with us. Um, I'd like to thank a lot of the people who are translating all of this debate for, for you. So really, thanks from the bottom of the heart. And thanks to the technical support who actually made all this possible with the application, the speakers, and everything. Really thank a lot for the people out there. So just before I say goodbye to you, I just want to remind two things that tomorrow we are going to meet each other on the red carpet. We are going to meet outside at the Lido. We're going to go on a demonstration for climate justice at 5 p.m. So just please be there, be there tomorrow. I want to see you all at the Santa Maria Elisabetta for heading together to the demonstration. And the second thing is that if you want to know more about this, I just remind you that tonight at half past nine, we're going to have another meeting about the demonstration. And thank you again, and good evening and good dinner. <laughs>